Nilutamide, Wikipedia article audio. Nilutamide, sold under the brand names Nylandrin and Anandron, is a nonsteroidal antiandrogen which is used in the treatment of prostate cancer. It has also been studied as a component of feminizing hormone therapy for transgender women and to treat acne and seborrhea in women. It is taken by mouth. Medical Uses Prostate Cancer Transgender Hormone Therapy Skin Conditions Side Effects Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Antiandrogenic Activity Cytochrome P450 Inhibition Pharmacokinetics Chemistry History Society and Culture Generic Names Brand Names Availability Side effects in men include breast tenderness and enlargement, feminization, sexual dysfunction, and hot flashes. Nausea, vomiting, visual disturbances, alcohol intolerance, elevated liver enzymes, and lung disease can occur in both sexes. Rarely, nilutamide can cause respiratory failure and liver damage. These unfavorable side effects, along with a number of associated cases of death, have limited the use of nilutamide. Nilutamide acts as a selective antagonist of the androgen receptor, preventing the effects of androgens like testosterone and dihydrotestosterone in the body. Because most prostate cancer cells rely on these hormones for growth and survival, nilutamide can slow the progression of prostate cancer and extend life in men with the disease. Nilutamide was discovered in 1977 and was first introduced for medical use in 1987. It became available in the United States in 1996. The drug has largely been replaced by newer and improved NSAAs, namely bicalutamide and enzalutamide, due to their better efficacy, tolerability, and safety, and is now rarely used. Nilutamide is used in prostate cancer in combination with a gonadotropin-releasing hormone analog at a dosage of 300 mg day for the first four weeks of treatment, and 150 mg day thereafter. It is not indicated as a monotherapy in prostate cancer. Nilutamide has been studied for use as a component of feminizing hormone therapy for transgender women. It has been assessed in at least five small clinical studies for this purpose in treatment naive subjects. In these studies, nilutamide monotherapy at a dosage of 300 mg day, induced observable signs of clinical feminization in young transgender women within eight weeks, including breast development, decreased body hair, decreased morning erections and sex drive and positive psychological and emotional changes. Signs of breast development occurred in all subjects within six weeks and were associated with increased nipple sensitivity, and along with decreased hair growth, were the earliest sign of feminization. Nilutamide did not change the size of the prostate gland, but was found to alter its histology including increased stromal tissue with a significant reduction in acini and atrophic epithelial cells, indicating glandular atrophy. In addition, readily apparent histological changes were observed in the testes, including a reduction in tubular and interstitial cells. Nilutamide was found to more than double luteinizing hormone and testosterone levels and to triple estradiol levels. In contrast, follicle-stimulating hormone levels remained unchanged. A slight but significant increase in prolactin levels was observed, and levels of sex hormone-binding globulin increased as well. 
The addition of ethanolestradiol to nilutamide therapy after eight weeks abolished the increase in LH, testosterone, and estradiol levels and dramatically suppressed testosterone levels, into the castrate range. Both nilutamide alone and the combination of nilutamide and estrogen were regarded as resulting in effective and favorable antiandrogen action and feminization in transgender women. Nilutamide has been assessed in the treatment of acne and seborrhea in women in at least one small clinical study. The dosage used was 200 mg slash day and in the study, seborrhea and acne decreased markedly within the first month and practically disappeared after two months of treatment. General side effects of NSAAs, including nilutamide, include gynecomastia, breast pain slash tenderness, hot flashes, depression, fatigue, sexual dysfunction, decreased muscle mass, and decreased bone mass with an associated increase in fractures. Also, nausea, vomiting, constipation, and insomnia may occur with nilutamide. Relative to other NSAAs, nilutamide has been uniquely associated with mild and reversible visual disturbances including delayed ocular adaptation to darkness and impaired color vision a disulfiram-like alcohol intolerance, interstitial pneumonitis as a secondary effect and can progress to pulmonary fibrosis and hepatitis and has a higher incidence of nausea and vomiting compared to other NSAAs. The incidence of interstitial pneumonitis with nilutamide has been found to be much higher in Japanese patients, warranting particular caution in Asian individuals. There is a case report of simultaneous liver and lung toxicity in a nilutamide-treated patient. There is also a risk of hepatoxicity with nilutamide, though occurrence is very rare and the risk is significantly less than with flutamide. The incidence of abnormal liver function tests is 2-3% with nilutamide, relative to 42-62% for flutamide. Fulminant hepatic failure has been reported for nilutamide, with fatal outcome. Similarly to flutamide, nilutamide exhibits mitochondrial toxicity in hepatocytes by inhibiting respiratory complex I in the electron transport chain, resulting in reduced ADP and glutathione production and thus decreased hepatocyte survival. The nitro group of nilutamide has been theorized to be involved in both its hepatotoxicity and its pulmonary toxicity. Nilutamide acts as a selective competitive silent antagonist of the AR, which prevents androgens like testosterone and DHT from activating the receptor. The affinity of nilutamide for the AR is 100-fold less than that of testosterone thus necessitating the use of relatively high dosages to achieve significant effectiveness. Nilutamide has approximately the same affinity for the AR as 2-hydroxyflutamide. Similarly to 2-hydroxyflutamide, but unlike bicalutamide, nilutamide is able to weakly activate the AR at high concentrations. It does not inhibit 5-alpha reductase. Like other NSAAs such as flutamide and bicalutamide, nilutamide, without concomitant GnRH analog therapy, increases serum androgen, estrogen, and prolactin levels due to inhibition of AR-mediated suppression of steroidogenesis via negative feedback on the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. As such, Though nilutamide is still effective as an antiandrogen as a monotherapy, it is given in combination with a GnRH analog such as luprorlin in prostate cancer to suppress androgen concentrations to castrate levels in order to attain maximal androgen blockade. Like flutamide and bicalutamide, nilutamide is able to cross the blood-brain barrier and has central antiandrogen actions. Nilutamide is known to inhibit several cytochrome P450 enzymes, including CYP1A2, CYP2C9, 
and CYP3A4, and can result in increased levels of medications that are metabolized by these enzymes. It has also been found to inhibit the enzyme CYP17A1 in vitro and thus the biosynthesis of androgens. However, nilutamide monotherapy significantly increases testosterone levels in vivo, so the clinical significance of this finding is uncertain. Nilutamide has an elimination half-life of 23 to 87 hours, with a mean of 56 hours, or about 2 days, this allows for once daily administration. Steady state levels of the drug are attained after 2 weeks of administration with a dosage of 150 mg twice daily. It is metabolized by CYP2C19, with at least 5 metabolites. Virtually all of the antiandrogenic activity of nilutamide comes from the parent drug. Nilutamide is structurally related to the first generation NSAAs flutamide and bicalutamide as well as to the second generation NSAAs enzalutamide and apalutamide. Nilutamide was developed by Russell and was first described in 1977. It was first introduced for medical use in 1987 in Europe and was the second NSAA to be marketed, with flutamide preceding it and bicalutamide following it in 1995. It was not introduced until 1996 in the United States. Nilutamide is the generic name of the drug and it's in, USIN, BAN, and DCF. Nilutamide is marketed under the brand name Nylandrin in the United States and under the brand name Anandron elsewhere in the world such as in Australia, Canada, Europe, and Latin America. Nilutamide is or has been available in the United States, Canada, Australia, Europe, Latin America, Egypt, and Lebanon. In Europe, it is or has been available in Belgium, Croatia, the Czech Republic, Finland, France, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Serbia, Sweden, Switzerland, and Yugoslavia. In Latin America, it is or has been available in Argentina, Brazil, and Mexico.